Welcome to Teacher Tips, where I make videos to share good practice. In this video, I will be writing my scheme of work with the help of AI. And in this video, we're looking at ChatGPT and Claude to help me write my scheme of work and hopefully help you too. Hello, so let's get started. I'm excited about this one because I hate writing schemes of work and I think I found a way for AI to do it for me or pretty much do the legwork and then I can tinker with it to make it unique to my students. So I started with ChatGPT and I asked it to create a scheme of work for the first eight weeks of term for an ESOL entry level one course working towards Cambridge Cambridge ESOL speaking and listening exam in December, which is exactly what I have to teach. Um, I've asked for it to please write the scheme of work in a table with the following headings. And this is where I've gone to my college scheme of work template and I've cut um, all the headings off the scheme of work and I've just pasted them in here. And honestly, I thought oh, maybe this is not going to quite work. It's not going to be, I might need to sort of delete some of this detail. But look, so. This is what it first came up with. So lovely table with all the main headings, slightly different on our college one, but I'll just have to tinker. Um, but it's got the main points. The only thing I'd say about this is it's a little bit brief. Um, we like quite detailed ones at college because we don't do lesson plans. Um, but I could add to that already save me a hunk of time. Right. So anyway, I think, you know, refine it. So also good to know it put all this stuff at the bottom which is all linked to the notes that I put at the top which is from our scheme of work template which I just think is fantastic um, so what I've asked is in the learning activity column can you add starter activities for each session and plenary activities because you know those are the things you spend time working out fun engaging activities to go in and I'm sure I could add more detail for further and here we go and then it's got a start off for each lesson love two truths and a lie good choice plenary starter plenary main activity this is then like saving me tons and tons of headspace here um, and you know I would need to check it I would need to tailor it but when I'm being asked for a document in a folder you know ready for my lessons here it is I can now tailor it to my needs so it's really giving us a fantastic starting point that we can build upon um, so I don't want to be chat GPT only so I had to go on Claude and to be honest I wasn't expecting such good results but use the same prompt so let's scroll up to the same same prompt same copy and paste from my scheme of work and this is what it comes up with and I love it in fact it's slightly different again it's coming up with topics that are really relevant for ESOL entry one students um, and it's covered all the points that I've had I mean I don't behavior outcomes must have been something that's mentioned in the blurb of my scheme of work but it's lovely I can tailor that and again I could refine it further with further further tweaks but I am just so impressed with this. So listen, if you've got a scheme of work to write or several schemes of work to write for September, try the AI. You don't, I mean, I'm not saying let it do all the work for you, uh, but I'm saying let it take some of like, you know, the legwork out of it for you. I can't see anything wrong with this. Brilliant. Do check it, do refine it for your learners, but wow, what an amazing tool. Right, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. See you soon.